Former President Donald Trump made a high-profile return to X for a live, unscripted conversation with owner Elon Musk. Now, Trump was banned from the platform under its previous ownership for his role in the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. 27 News Washington correspondent Jesse Tenor joins us live right now from the nation's capital. And Jesse, good evening. And what happened in that conversation? Yeah, good evening to you both as well. So this two-hour conversation was friendly. Musk largely supported um, Trump's vision for another administration, but the event itself got off to a rocky start. Technical issues delayed the start of a rare live conversation on X, formerly known as Twitter, between owner Elon Musk and former President Donald Trump. We unfortunately had a massive uh, distributed denial of service attack against uh, our servers. We view that as an honor. Trump quickly made up for the lost time, launching into a detailed account of his attempted assassination and vowing to return to the scene. We're going back to Butler and we're going to go back in October. We're all set up. Trump also promised the largest deportation in U.S. history and used the platform to attack his opponent, Vice President Kamala Harris. We cannot have a Democrat. We cannot have her. She's incompetent. Musk endorsed Trump in this presidential election, but supported President Joe Biden in 2020. On Tuesday, the president himself pushed back against their criticisms that Harris is too progressive. The issues we've worked on together have made great progress economically. No one calls what we did on infrastructure progressive. It's a good policy. Harris's running mate, Governor Tim Walz, kicked off his first solo campaign swing in California. I'm proud to be on this kicking, working with Vice President Harris, who we all know we want to call the next president of the United States. Harris is preparing for a big speech Friday to lay out her economic policy ahead of the Democratic National Convention next week in Chicago. And campaign officials tell us that Harris's speech will largely focus on her plans to cut costs for middle class families and take on corporate price gouging. Live in Washington, I'm Jesse Chinor. Back to you. And Jesse, how did the Harris campaign respond to last night's Musk Trump conversation? Rebecca, the Harris campaign definitely did not mince words here. They said of Trump and Musk that they are rich guys who don't know how to run a live stream in 2024. Of course, the Trump campaign has a very different take on last night, calling it largely a success, especially, they say, when it comes to messaging and fundraising. All right, some strong words there. You bet. Jesse, thank you so much for the live update and have a great night.